Okay, so now we will look at this notion of homophily based community detection. So in social networks, you could see that people with similar type like say race, ethnicity or job and hometown and stuff like that, they tend to be together. So people with uh, similar characteristics, okay, like race, ethnicity, job, hometown, whatever, where I studied school and all these things, they tend to be closer together. So that is called homophily. Okay. So, so far the community detection algorithms that we saw in this module did not consider such characteristics. So it just went based on the edges and did the community detection. So what if, if you are given offline some information about the nodes uh, like this, uh, can we use that information and uh, classify the nodes? Okay. Again, along with the edge, uh, edges that are between the nodes. Okay, so for this, let us um, use this result from literature that if P and Q are the fractions of the nodes of certain type in a network, then if the links between these two types of nodes are to be randomly distributed, then the fraction of the links expected to connect these two sets of nodes is not going to be, or is going to be 2PQ. It's the expected fraction. So let me again repeat it. If P and Q are the fractions of the nodes of a certain types in a network, say boys and girls in a social network, then if the links in the network ought to be randomly distributed without taking the types of the nodes into consideration, then the fraction of the links expected to connect to these two sets of nodes is 2PQ. Now, this is the expected fraction. Now, if the actual fraction of the links in the network between these two types of nodes is less than 2PQ, then we say that these two types of nodes exist separately. There's not no much interaction between these two sets of nodes. That means there's no homophily. They are not part of one community. Whereas, if the actual fraction of the links between these two sets of nodes is greater than what is expected, which if, they are, if the links are to be randomly distributed, okay, so that is if the actual fraction of links in the network is greater than or equal to 2PQ, then the network is said to exhibit homophily. That means you have uh, more interactions between these two sets of nodes, so they exist together as one community. So this is the timeline, uh, the scale that we have to use. So if P and Q are the fractions of two different types of nodes, then if the, uh, so this 2PQ is the expected fraction of the links, if the links are to be randomly distributed without taking into consideration the types of the nodes, then if the actual fraction of the links in the network is less than 2PQ, then the two sets of nodes uh, are consider to exist separately as two separate communities. There's no homophily. On the other hand, if the actual fraction of the links is greater than or equal to 2PQ, they exist as one single community. That means we see there's homophily. So let's go through an example here. So here we have a network of 10 nodes and um, the uh, is a network of male and female students. Uh, so the male students are colored in green, the female students are colored in yellow. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8 are the male students, 5, 6, 9, 10 are the female students. Now these are the edges in this network. Now we need to determine based on this given information whether the male and female students exist together as one community or they exist as separate communities. Okay. Alright, so the first step is uh, we need to find out what fraction of male students are there, what fraction of female students are there. And we already kind of have that information to find. So the 6 out of 10 male students are there and 4 out of the 10 students are female. So the fraction of male students is 0 0.6 and the fraction of female students is 0 0.4. So the expected fraction of male-female links, if the links are distributed randomly without taking into consideration the male and female students, it is 2 times p times q, which is 2.2 .2 times 0 0.6 times 0 0.4, which is 0 0.48. So now what we are going to do is find the actual fraction of the links connecting the male and female students. So um, in order to do that, we also need to find the number of links in this graph. Okay. 
Now you could just manually count the number of links in this graph or use the node degrees and use the basic relation we saw in the first module between node degrees and number of links. So sum of node degrees divided by 2 will give you the number of links. So find the degrees of all the vertices out there, which is the number of neighbors and uh, sum all those node degrees divided by 2 you get 20. So this graph has 20 links. So now among these 20 links, what are the links connecting the male and female students? So that we have to manually look at the graph and count the number of links connecting the male and female students. So that's why I'm coloring the nodes so that you can easily count that. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are 6 links connecting the male and female students. So the actual fraction of male-female links is 6 divided by 20 which is 0 0.3 and it is the less than the expected fraction which is 0 0.48 okay so that means like this so this is 0 0.3 the actual fraction less than 0 0.48 which is the expected fraction so we say that the male and female students exist as two separate communities there's no homophily okay now let us go to one more example here we have three set of vertices uh, so again students so here we have Asian Caucasian and Hispanic students uh, and these are the student uh, uh, node, nodes that are out there and I color them differently like this um, so the fraction of Asian students is uh, 6 out of uh, 20 students that is 0 0.3 the Caucasian students 7 out of 20 Hispanic students 7 out of 20 Alright, so the total number of links in this graph is again the sum of the node degrees divided by 2, so which is 47. So you see why in a large graph like this, it's very easy to make mistakes if you're manually counting the number of links. So it's a good idea to just find the node degrees and sum all the node degrees and divide by 2 to get the number of links. So now let us um, find out whether there, uh, whether any two set of students, whether Asian, Caucasian, or Asian, Hispanic, or Caucasian, Hispanic, exist together as one community or as two separate communities. So let us start with Asian, Hispanic students. So identify the links between the Asian and Hispanic students, which is the green and the blue color. So these are the links between the Asian and Hispanic students. We totally have nine links. So 9 of the 47 links, uh, which is 0 0.19, is the actual fraction of links connecting uh, the Asian and Hispanic students. Now what is the expected fraction? So Asian students, we have 0 0.3 fraction and um, uh, Hispanic is 0 0.35. So the expected fraction of links connecting the Asian and Hispanic is going to be 2 times 0 0.3 times 0 0.35, which is 0 0.21. And the actual fraction is less than the expected fraction. So that means the Asian Hispanic students exist as separate communities. They are not together as one community. Now let us look at the Asian and Caucasian students. The expected fraction is 2 times 0 0.3 times 0 0.35 to 0 0.21. Now the actual fraction of links between the Asian and Caucasian students is this. So if you count the number of links, it's going to be 12. So 12 out of 47 is 0 0.26 and that is greater than 0 0.21. So we have a scenario here where the um, actual fraction of links is greater than the expected fraction. So that means the two set of students exist as one community, as homophily. Now the last category is the Caucasian Hispanic students. The expected fraction is 2 times 0 0.35 times 0 0.35 which is 2, 2, 0.245. The actual fraction of links is 3 out of 47, which is 0 0.064. So that is less than 0 0.245. So the Caucasian and Hispanic students exist as separate communities. Okay. So if you put together what we have, the uh, Asian and Caucasian students exist as one community. The Asian and Hispanic as well as Caucasian and Hispanic exist as separate communities. Okay. So let's stop with this video.